Welcome to Infigyan friends. In this video, we are going to take up one very interesting and challenging question from factorial equations. Our equation is 6 factorial times x plus 6 factorial over 9 factorial times x plus 2 factorial equal to x plus 5 times x plus 3 over x minus 5 times x minus 7. x belongs to whole number. I will demonstrate two different methods to solve this problem. So let me begin this video by writing our method number 1 and then I will write my domain. RHS cannot be 0 means denominator cannot be 0. I will write x cannot be equal to 5 and 7. So from the whole number list I will reject 2 or restrict 2 values 5 and 7. Okay. Let's expand using recursive formula. But before that I will write that formula also n factorial can be written as n times n minus 1 factorial and so on. Okay, so let me write here our left hand side first. So 6 factorial unchanged, 9 factorial I will write 9, 8, 7 times 6 factorial. This part is done. Now come to x plus 6 factorial. I will use recursive formula. So x plus 6 times x plus 5 times x plus 4 times x plus 3 times x plus 2 factorial. As you can see, x plus 2 factorial is in the denominator also. So we can cancel. We have to stop over there. Now simply cancel it. RHS. x plus 5 times x plus 3 over x minus 5 x minus 7. Now cancel whatever we can. So yes, x plus 5 we can cancel both sides. x plus 3 also we can cancel both sides. So 6 factorial also we will cancel. Now what is left? Let me write here. x plus 4 times x plus 6 divided by 9, 8, 7. If you will calculate, it is 56 times 9. So 504 equal to numerator is 1 here denominator is x minus 5 times x minus 7 let's cross multiply so it will come out with one quartic equation x plus 4 times x plus 6 times x minus 5 times x minus 7 equal to 504 so this is our ultimate quartic equation this equation we have to solve. How I would solve? Method number 1. I will give substitution. Let me write here x plus 4 times x plus 6 times x minus 5 x minus 7 equal to 504. Let's use number line. So this is our origin 0. Here we will have 5. Here we will have 7. Okay. Now come to the negative part, minus 4, minus 6. Can you find out the middle point? Yes, we can find out. From the origin left hand side, this point is 6 units and this point is in this direction, it is 7 units. So obviously, this point would be the middle point. That is plus half. So our substitution will be, I will write x minus 1 by 2 equal to a or t you can assume or y you can assume. Let us put over there the value of x. So x will be equal to a plus 1 by 2. So I will write our equation as a plus 1 by 2 plus 4, a plus 1 by 2 plus 6, a plus 1 by 2 minus 5, a plus 1 by 2 minus 7 equal to 504. Now let's find out this value a plus half plus 4. So it is 4.5 that means 9 over 2. So I will write a plus 9 over 2. Second bracket a plus 13 over 2. Okay. Second third bracket I will write a plus minus 9 over 2. 1 minus 10 over 2. So minus 9 over 2 fourth bracket a plus 
so it will become minus this time so i will write minus 13 1 minus 14 that is minus 13 over 2 equal to 504 now you can see this bracket and this bracket it will frame difference of two squares formula so let me write and these two brackets i will consider all together so i will write a plus 9 by 2 a minus 9 by 2 third bracket i will write a minus 13 by 2 or a plus 13 by 2 and fourth bracket we can write a minus 13 by 2 which is equal to 504 now difference of two squares will come so i will write a square minus 81 over 4 a square minus b square so a is a b is 9 by 2 third and fourth bracket i will write again a square minus 13 square is 169 2 square is 4 and right hand side is 504 unchanged now i will take lcm first so i can write here 4a square minus 81 individual bracket 4a square minus 169 equal to 504 times 16 it will become so this value will be 8064 done now i will expand our lhs so once you will multiply and simplify it you will get this quartic equation 16 a power 4 minus 1000 a square then we'll have 5625 equal to 0 now i will use sridharachar formula so i can write because of this is quartic but i can write this is quadratic in a square so i will consider quadratic in a square so i will write a square will be equal to minus b so minus of minus 1000 1000 plus minus under the root 1000 whole square so after one there will be six zeros three four five six minus four ac 36 how many zeros one two three four divided by two a so that would be 32 so 1000 if you will take away this one so i will get 64 and then one two three four zeros divided by 32 now i will write this equal to 1000 plus minus it will give us 800 once you will take a square root a square root 64 is 8 so that value will come out over 32 so once i will consider plus sign in between so 1800 over 32 so let me write 1800 over 32 and second value that would be 200 over 32 after simplification we will have 225 over 4 and second value will be let me write here 25 over 4 simply cancel by 8 both both fractions will cancel by 8 so we will get 225 over 4 25 over 4 now left hand side is a square take a square root both sides i will write a is equal to plus minus 15 over 2 and second value i will write plus minus 5 over 2 done now x this a was our substitution so let me write in terms of x i will write x minus 1 by 2 was our substitution a so i will write x minus 1 by 2 in the lhs and right hand side let us write separately so i will write 15 over 2 plus sign now let us write minus sign plus sign let us write minus sign so what i will do i will add half to this equation the complete addition with half means left hand side it will become x only add half once you will add half 15 plus 1 16 over 2 8 second term you will write minus 7 third term 5 plus half so 6 over 2 so you will get 3 fourth term you will get minus 2 remove these two numbers as they are not whole numbers so there are two solutions for this factorial equation 3 and 8 now my method number 2 i will consider let me write here and method number 2 is very simple so i will write our original equation that was quartic i will write x plus 4 times x minus 5 in this way and then i will write x plus 6 
and then last bracket I will write x minus 7. This is equal to 504. Now I will take product of these two brackets respectively. Let us take the product x square minus 5x plus 4x minus x minus 20. Done. Now second bracket I will write x square again it is minus 7x plus 6x minus x minus 42 equal to 504. Now either you can write directly or you can write substitution x minus x square minus x term you can substitute over there. So let me consider this is a so let me write x square minus x is equal to suppose a so quadratic this will form a minus 20 and a minus 42 equal to 504 okay now let's multiply so i will get one quadratic equation a square minus 42 and 20 62 a and once i will take product of both the numbers i will write 840 equal to 504 so take all the term to lhs it will become a square minus 62a then i will write 336 equal to 0 840 minus 504 336 now simply apply sidrachar formula that is also available or if you want to factorize this constant term and split the middle term that is also available so let me write 336 as a factor 56 times 6 so 6 is 36 and 33 so 336 we can write in this product form so i will split our middle term as 56 plus 6 so let me write here a square minus 56 a minus 6 a plus 336 you can apply quadratic formula also a times a minus 56 minus 6 a minus 56 equal to 0 so i can write a minus 6 times a minus 56 equal to 0 remember what is our a a is our substitution x square minus x so let me write a is equal to 6 or 56 and our substitution was x square minus x let me write here x square minus x is equal to 6 and second equation x square minus x is equal to 56 and this was our substitution now i will solve two quadratic equations let me write the first one take all the term to lhs x square minus x minus 6 is equal to 0 second equation x square minus x minus 56 equal to 0 from first equation i will write sidrachar formula minus b 1 plus minus under the root b square minus 4ac over 2a so 2 1 plus minus square root 25 is 5 over 2 6 over 2 is 3 minus 4 over 2 is minus 2 so here we are having two solutions this solution we will reject as it is not whole number so 3 is accepted now come to the second quadratic equation x is equal to minus b 1 plus minus under the root b square minus 4ac so i will write plus at least 56 times 4 so it will become 224 over 2 so 1 plus minus square root 225 is 15 over 2 so x will become 1 plus 15 is 16 over 2 that is 8 1 minus 14 so 1 minus 15 so minus 14 minus 14 over 2 is minus 7 again i will put the same logic this is not whole number we will reject this so which one we will accept that is 8 so our ultimate solution using this method i will write here 8 and 3 two solutions are there i hope this video is meaningful to you do not forget to like, share, subscribe. Bye-bye till next video. Good luck and take care of yourself. Bye.